There's, there's, no, there's no one who's never asked a question before, is there yet? No? There's a lady who's never asked me a question before. Lilac scarf. What was your name? Kerry. Kerry. I honestly don't even know what the question is. I just want to connect. Hi, AJ. Uh, this is my first time here. Nice there to are. You. Thank you. Um, that and I because I haven't heard everything you've said in the past and so on. I'm I'm I have, having a little bit of fear of ignorance here. Yeah. But yep, yep. Nonetheless, I'll go. Sort of playing ahead. catch up. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I guess my question that's sitting with me at the moment mm -hmm. is: I feel that I was born into my family as the firstborn of my family, mm -hmm. as the a supposed stillborn. But my experience or imagination, I have no idea, is that he wasn't even stillborn, that he was in a place of total peace, but nonetheless wasn't um, met by my mother or my father. And I, we, we don't even know what happened to him. He wasn't buried. So that's my experience. When you say, I'm a bit confused, you're saying I, that you were, you were born into... I feel I may have been him. You feel you may have been a him. Can I explain what was actually happening? Yes. Okay. Please. Um, and this was what often happens due to false beliefs um, in, the, in the spirit world. Um, and one thing I must say is that false beliefs in the spirit world, and particularly false beliefs about their life on, in the spirit world compared to their life here on earth, cause spirits to do and attempt to do a lot of different things that they wouldn't normally do if they knew the truth. Right? But I, I feel actually that there was a, there's a spirit with you who have been with you from the time you've born, been born who tried to reincarnate using your body. Does that make sense? And, yep. and this spirit passed as a stillborn in its life on earth. And he's tried to... There's no such thing as reincarnation actually, as, as he understands it to be anyway. And, and he then has tried to reincarnate into a new body. And what he's done is attached himself to your body. And this is why you have strong male, um, strong male influence through the rest of your life as well. Does that make sense? Now, now, the reason why that happened is the law of attraction of your mum and dad. Their own emotions did not protect you from this event. And it's their unhealed emotions that created the event. And it's also their unhealed emotions that need to, you need to now heal before this man will release from you. Does that make sense? Yeah. And you're feeling that quite strongly as a truth anyway. So let yourself just go through that experience um, of releasing those emotions and you'll actually connect with your own femininity for the first time in your life, which will be a very powerful thing for you to connect to once you release this connection between you and he. My suggestion is to talk to him as if he is a different person to you. Talk to him as if he's the person who has, has had a previous life on earth in which he didn't experience the whole lot of it. And that's one of the reasons why he tried to come again by connecting to you. Because he feels he's missed out on a life on earth. And he has some deep emotions about that and, uh, and as a result of that connected with you. Yep. He's confused you sexually uh, quite a lot too. At times, yeah. Yeah, I've been total. Um, I have no idea. I mean, I'm 58 next week, and yeah. I have no idea. I mean, I thought I knew what sexuality I was, but I really have no idea. Yeah. And I'm, and it is painful, and I'm sorry to cry, but no, no, no you, it, crying is painful. welcome here, <laughs> Kerry. Crying is welcome here, and as everyone here who's been here before knows very well. Yep, they've even seen me cry while I'm talking. Um, my, my suggestion is to allow yourself to just feel that grief that you have, that you haven't been able to connect with yourself because of this heavy influence that you've had. And let yourself work through some emotions that cause, uh, that, you know, about your parent. It's, it's parental emotions that cause the original attraction that your mum and dad have had of, um, and rather than go through them all with you, I think if you allow yourself to feel them, uh, you'll connect to them pretty rapidly, actually. But your confusion sexually is not 
because of anything other than this man being with you 24 by 7, during, particularly during your awake hours, uh, influencing many of your choices and decisions along a masculine track. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. I feel like I've, I've been mother and father to my own daughter anyway, and so I feel like I've had to be really tough and yeah. male, and I just want to relax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You be need a fe and be feminine. Be a girl. Yeah, be a girl, because that's your true nature. Obviously, that's the body you, you've uh, your soul is incarnated into. So that means you are feminine half of the soul. And while this man is overcloaking you and trying to influence you. He, he is actually causing quite a lot of damage to your life as well, unbeknown to himself, because he had a whole series of false beliefs too. So if you can talk to him about those beliefs that he has and encourage him to move on in the spirit world, he can actually have many experiences in the spirit world that he's trying to have here on earth. Does that make sense? Thank you. But, it, but, he's, but he's avoiding them, uh, <laughs> wanting to ha you have a body again, basically. And um, can I just point out that the teaching of reincarnation and many of the subsequent related beliefs cause a lot of these kind of problems where people on earth get overcloaked from a very, very young age and stay overcloaked for a lot of their life. And, uh, and if, if spirits knew the truth and people on earth knew the truth, they wouldn't allow these connections so much. But it's your mum and dad's emotions that allowed the connections. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what they are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. No worries.